Hey guys, this is Put Spice and I'm here to do a little mini book haul. I know some people wait to do it like all month. I just do it when I get it so I can put my stuff up. I'll wait till I get a little collection and then there you go. So I got some stuff from Amazon and Book Outlet. And then I do have an Amazon Japan order that's supposed to be coming, but it's not here yet. I wasn't feeling good and I was home in the bed, so I kind of went shopping which is never good because i never need to do that um yeah so let's go ahead and get started and i'll start with my i'll start with amazon this time i guess i just dropped my marker i think this was not this was sealed. okay so We'll just go ahead and I only got two, well, it's three books, but it's really two. So, I, I want to say this was Tease World, but I'm not sure. I'd have to go back and look. Somebody was showing this cute, guys, flip through of this book. It might not have been Tease. I don't know. I never write this stuff down. I say that every single time and I never remember. But anyway, whoever it was, I commented on their video so they know. <laughs> So this was, it says a grown-up coloring book for anyone who loves cute guys. And you know, hot guy summer is coming up. So I was looking through there when they were showing it. I'm like, hee 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 hee, yes, indeed he do. Yep, that's what we're going to get. We're going to get this cute guys, cute guys. <laughs> so 24 illustrations, there are no doubles, which is yay, because I hate doubles. And this one is through the ages. There's four of them, I think. And I like this one best because some of them were like, oh, yeah, I'm not feeling that. So this was on Amazon. It's got your scribble page. You can scribble what you like. So you can just go, hot guy, hot guy in the city. <laughs> so then you got your um, caveman hot guy. Reminded me of Wolverine. You got your Egyptian dude. Look at the muscles. Guy posing for, for David. <laughs> Although that looks kind of, I don't know. That looks kind of funny. <laughs> uh, you're a Roman soldier. Somebody. I don't know who this is. Uh, okay. This looks, yeah. <laughs> That's a little suspect, but this is kind of cool. A hot Aladdin with his scimitar. Does this count as a sword? Because if so. <laughs> Good old Viking dude. I'm rewatching Game of Thrones, so. <laughs> uh oh, hey. Got our little tartan fella here. Our Aztec warrior. Our little African dude with his lion. <laughs> okay, we're gonna call him a swashbuckling pirate, even though it doesn't necessarily. He could just be a three musketeer, but I'm liking the pirate. Plus, he's got that swagger like, hey girl, look at his face. Hey girl. <laughs> what? My name is Jimmy. <laughs> Come wiggle my lock with me. <laughs> Get it, Jimmy the lock. Ho, ho, ho. I love puns. We got our little chimney sweep looking dude here. I don't know why they're in there. Neither one of them are hot. But hey, whatever. <laughs> our little on the boat dude. But that's why I like this one better because they had it like through the ages. And you've got different styles. Like, I do love me a VW Bug bus. <laughs> okay, there's nothing hot about disco. <laughs> ah, this is so 1980s. <laughs> Not my, I don't know how that's hot, but okay. Whatever. <laughs> and you got your little dude. I guess somebody thought that was hot. <laughs> like, does he have dad belly? Is that what this is? I don't know. <laughs> is that what that's supposed to be? 
thing. A dad belly. We got our alien to space and beyond. Blast off with me, baby. <laughs> So, you know, at least something out of here has got to get colored in hot guy summer. So, there you go. That's my hashtag for June and July. So, now you know early. You can start early and just post them later. <laughs> hot guy in the summer. <laughs> How fun is that? Yes. What is going on? My computer's acting stupid. <sighs> Okay, on with the show, ladies and gents. So, it is Mermaid. So, I bought this Little Mermaid Friends coloring book. But you'll notice, I bought two. So, it was on Amazon. It was like $3 or something, a, a book. So, I bought two because, as you know, and as you can probably see, look on my desk, markers, alcohol markers, alcohol markers, alcohol markers there's another one over there of alcohol markers this bin has alcohol markers so yeah i like to use alcohol markers but guess what this is double-sided as all of these dover books are so i went ahead and made sure that i bought two now, who knows if, you know, I'll probably never color all the pages, but what happens if I want to color this page now and decide, ooh, I like this page? Well, if I use markers, I can't color both of them. So, I just went ahead and bought two. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. So there, that solves the problem. Okay, book outlet. I finally bought one of these antiquarian sticker books. I bought this one. I just, I love a, I love a big book. Even though it's not a reading book, I love a big book. It's just fabulous. It is so fabulous. So, these have been around for a while, but it's a lot of stickers. And I got this one because it had like a variety of colors and themes. And you've got these plain pages, which I like, because then you could actually, once you finish these, you could peel off that other stuff and then use the other side for something. So that's kind of cool and it's just got a variety so I mean there's tons of flip throughs so I'll just do like a quickie quickie Hot time in the city. so we've got all this stuff and all this peacock I haven't even taken the time to look through it totally but there you go and it's so many pages it says somewhere how many stickers over a thousand so definitely love that and it was a decent price so I finally bought I think maybe well it wasn't all that great but you know then I got this one <laughs> Star Wars the Mandalorian now I'm not necessarily a big fan of like the Mandalorian or whatever I've been watching the series I actually haven't watched this season yet but I need to catch up but that's not the point. The point of the matter is my computer is still acting dumb. Oh, Lordy. That it was cute and it had baby Yoda. <laughs> and it was like a dollar or something. It wasn't even $2. So I was like, okay, we have to get this. And it has stickers and I've been wanting some baby Yoda stickers. So we got this little one and snack time and him right here and it's so funny because on face or instagram there's like a whole little channel of like <laughs> baby yoda like memes and stuff and it is hilarious hilarious i crack up every single time so i don't know how much star wars coloring i'll do but look at the baby yoda and yes, his name is Grogu, Grogu, but who cares? It's Baby Yoda. It's Baby Yoda. And I don't know who these people are, but there you go. <laughs> so it's like a, a $2 book, so yada, yada, yada. All right, then I did pick up this one. 
Um, yeah. I wanted to get this one before, but I wasn't really going to pay the price that they wanted for it. And so it was on sale on their uh, book outlet. So I went ahead and bought it. So it is Fausto Bianchi or Bianchi, I don't know. And it feels like Amazon paper may be a slight difference, but it's perforated and it definitely gives me mythographic vibes. So that's why I was like, maybe, maybe not. But it's a whole underwater. So there's mermaids, so it can be used for mermaid. Um, you got seahorses and all kinds of things. And this is a sword. Ooh, I could color this one for Ogarani's what you call it, sword. Although it's coming up due, and I'm like, I don't really have time to, I don't really have time to be doing this, but here I am. So, there you go. So I thought this was interesting. Love the elephant. I don't know why the elephant's underground, but underwater. But love the elephant. Like I said, it definitely gives me mythographic vibes. And I do love mythographic. Which then leads me to another book that I bought. I really like that one. That was cool. I went ahead and broke down and purchased this mythographic. Uh, because when it came out, I was not impressed. And I was like, meh, meh, meh. But then you know how you have like full set syndrome. And there were some kind of, some things I liked. And since it was like uber cheap, I was like, okay, we'll do it then. So, yeah. Lots of people have this. It's been out for a while. So there's no need for some a major flip through. But, so I did go ahead and finally break down and buy it now that it was cheaper. And... There are, there are enough in here that I like that I would color in it. So, there you go. So, you've got that Atlantis. And you've got this one that looks very similar. Then, I broke down and bought Beauty of Horror 2. I thought I had this one, but apparently I did not. And I do not like number one. So, I did not buy number one. But, this was on Uber Cheap again. So, I was like, well, I might as well go ahead and, you know, get it. There's your inside cover. There's some of these that I won't color. I just, like these clowns, I probably won't color. Not a fan of clowns. <laughs> but see, this is something I would color. This over here, I would color. So there are a few in here that I would be like, um, yeah, not worthy, you know. But in general, there's a lot of them I would color. So I went ahead and got it. Like I said, it was cheap. So there you go. And so now I think I have all of them except for two. And those are the two I don't like. So obviously I'm not going to get those. I don't have full set syndrome to that point where I'll buy something I really don't like. Just to have, I won't do that. Okay. And then the last one I bought was Romantic Country, A Second Tale. Fantasy coloring. Now, I bought this because it was uber cheap. And I like to use my alcohol markers. <laughs> right so yeah I already have one and I use pencil and water medium in that but sometimes I don't want to do that I want to use my markers and not sacrifice you know not sacrifice the other page in the other book so I just decided since it was relatively cheap and they had it in stock I would go ahead and buy it and now I can use my markers. So like this one, I can use my markers in here because in the other one, this was a buddy color with JoJo. Was it JoJo? Maybe it wasn't. It was a buddy color with somebody for the double page spread and I used a lot of ink tints, which means these can now be sacrificed to alcohol markers, even though I probably wouldn't color that anyway. So yeah, but I really like this page, but I don't wanna have to color this with pencil. That's too much. So this will be my alcohol marker one. Yay. 
Yay. All right, so that's what I have as far as books go. I do have some crafting supplies, but I'm just going to put that on my other channel. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you guys are being safe out there and, you know, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. So, hi guys, and thanks for watching. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. And be safe, be blessed, and, you know, enjoy yourself. And don't put up with crap. Bye!